from the warmest October on record to this. The morning commute wasn't pretty. It's a little treacherous, but if you drive with care, which is what I do, and uh, give lots of space and uh, prepare. Not the greatest. The alley was probably the worst, but they always are. Icy roads and blowing snow aren't new to most Albertans, but the first big dump typically seems to catch some drivers off guard. There's always that one driver that's going like way above the speed limit and not driving for road conditions. Some people still think it's summer. The AMA says it received about two times the normal call volume starting overnight and into Wednesday morning. Peak wait times for an average tow were about 25 hours, but quicker for people stuck on the side of the road. We've called in every resource possible to come in and help us and uh, extra staff is working around the clock to clear up the, the backlog. The majority of calls were a result of drivers sliding into curbs or getting into crashes. Just a reminder to people to slow down and, and you know, pay attention to traffic. The city says all available crews are out 24-7 applying traction control materials to roads, sidewalks and pathways. The first snowfall of the year is always challenging, but crews have been preparing for the snowfall for the last few weeks. In the summer, council allocated additional resources for snow removal and ice control until the end of the year, but conversations still need to happen for 2023. I hope those resources will, uh, be, will be put to good use and we will have a, a better snow removal uh, uh, efforts. And with those efforts, a seasonal adjustment to our driving habits. It was bound to happen and uh, we have to get used to it. Nicole Stilger, Global News.